Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to learn about the if conditions in the Go.Inchan. So, I'm gonna just remove all of this because we're gonna start from scratch um, and learn about if conditions in programming and especially in GDScript. Um, but first, we should declare a new variable um, to match for the if conditions. I'm gonna simply say is moving up is moving up if the player is moving up um, it should be a boolean variable and we can set it to be true for now um, and we want to match and we want to run some code whenever player is moving up um, how do we do that we do it with if conditions um, we write it as like simply if keyword and then a space and then the name of the condition we want to check. We can simply write the variable in this case because it simply says if true and false, if is moving up, then we say colon and enter. Make sure the indentation is right because it does matter. Um, and then type in player is moving up inside the print function. Um, now this piece of loop code is gonna run whenever the player is moving up so now you can see that it prints out the player is moving up um, but if we set it to false this variable now this condition is no longer true so it's not gonna print out if the player is moving up you see there's no print um, now let's learn about another um, concept here which is else condition else is not really a condition but is the opposite of the above conditions um, we can say print um, and in this case whenever player is moving up it's gonna print the first statement and if it's not moving up it's gonna print the else if statement so there it says Failure is not moving up. Obviously, there doesn't have to be print statements. We can have multiple logics, as we're gonna show in in the in the next section. But for now, let's add some more variables and some more if conditions to, pra to practice better. Um, I'm just gonna add like is moving down and remove this else condition. I'm gonna just add another. Actually, we should add else if condition instead of another if condition it would be a better way to learn another concept else if is simply else plus if um, so we just do it's just a short form for this but it allows us to specify another condition compared to just simply else con else um, block which does not allow us to add another condition but else if does and you can simply say and if the player is moving down we simply print player is moving down <coughs> drawn it check it it's working perfect now um, let's do some more practice let's add more variables like is moving left and right um, I'm just choosing the values to be random you can you know you, it doesn't have to match exactly if you're practicing alone uh, along with me um, it doesn't have to match exactly you can make the first one true the second one false etc um, so just practicing the patterns player is moving left um, copy and paste player is moving right um, yeah let's do right and play it maybe let's change it to something else let's, yeah let's make it let's play it um, great it's working player is moving left okay now we actually want to move the player on the screen instead of printing it we really want to move it through our keyboard whenever we press certain conditions like certain keys not conditions certain keys um 
you can come here in the 2d section and then add a new child node i'm gonna add color rect you can search for it and um, there it is um it's gonna in basically be your player character very simple in the inspector tab under layout transform you can change its size to whatever you like i'm just gonna set it to 64 by 64 and then we can also change this color by the way i'm just gonna keep it white um yeah let's go to the script and add its um reference now i'm gonna make some actually you know go back and let's rename it to player instead of color rect it is a color rect um, but we're renaming it to player um i'm just gonna add a new variable uh, this is a global variable it's outside of a specific function block so i'm just gonna type in the type of this is color rect because yeah our player is a color rect node which is a built-in node from Godot. Um, for now i'm just gonna set this value to null because we need to grab the reference to this node this child node as soon as the the scene is ready this the, the game is running and we do it in the ready function as, as i told you earlier the ready function um is called as soon as the root node or the node script is attached to it's running it has started running so i'm just gonna add, grab the reference from here player is equals to get node now get node is a function where we can type in the path of the node we want in the in the scene root like yeah from here we simply have a single node a player node and that's it we do not have a lot of nodes here so we can simply type in the name of the player character which is simply player now it's gonna get us this reference which is useful to move it, it through the code um okay great now to actually get um get get to know which key is being pressed on the keyboard we need to learn about input maps input actions and input maps now <coughs> input maps for input maps we can come to the project project settings and then here you see multiple tabs general input map localization globals etc we come to the input map section and we define here our own actions there are built-in actions too but we're not gonna use those we are gonna build add our own in input action so come here in the add new action um text editor and in here we're gonna type in our own um, input action name i'm gonna just say move up and then hit enter it's gonna edit in the list move down move left and move right now um, we need to assign keyboard keys you if you have a joypad or gamepad you can also add those keys i'm just gonna use simple keyboard um, come here to add event button for each one of these actions and we are gonna listen for type in the key you wanna listen for i wanna listen for w in this case and hit enter now it's gonna trigger this action input action as as soon as we press the input event which is the w key then we uh, do the same thing with the other ones s key a key for the left and d key for the right um, then we close it and save it hit ctrl s and now um, we need to understand that the ready function is just called one time as soon as the project starts it just called one time now to make sure that we are checking for key press all the time um, we need to work in another function which is called multiple times um, each frame it, it is called each frame so we simply type in this new function which is process underscore process 
this function takes in a new parameter i'm going to explain two functions in later video inshallah for now just type in this code to enter into this you know function and we're gonna write our input checking code um our if conditions here to make sure we are catching real time um keyboard presses whenever some keys are pressed on the keyboard so i'm gonna type in here um or if conditions and also just type in if condition and also we need to grab a reference to the input singleton which will allow us to you know check our input actions that we added earlier in the input map here to check if these actions are being pressed right now we need to grab a reference to the input singleton singletons are like engine go to the engines built in um <coughs> classes which which give us a lot of functionality like here using the function is action pressed um which action we want to check for we want to check for move up um if the input action is pressed move up we want to move the player we grab a reference to the player um through the variable and now to change this position we come here into the transform for the player and we see the property is called position um, so we're gonna say dot player dot position and now we want to move its y component whenever the player is, is moving up um, and you know we want to say minus equals to which is very similar to player dot position dot y equals player dot position dot y minus um this amount we want to move up by this amount and by the way the in the in the in the godot engine the y to move up in the y we need to negate um the value and also you can see that i'm specifying a specific variable for this instead of typing it um row the the row number like 100 we're gonna have a specific variable which we can tweak later if we need to um and again as i said the the graph in in godot indian engine is the opposite the y um increases as we go down and it decreases as we go up that is why we are removing we are basically negating um the speed and delta as i already explained in actually i didn't explain so, so delta basically means um it's the it's the time difference between each frame because this function this underscore process um function this piece this block of code it is called every function and to learn about the time difference between each each frame um we need to multiply um we need to use the delta um floating point variable i'm just using the scoping and pasting these el self conditions to to move the character here and there in different directions um but the delta basically is useful to make sure our our code our game is synchronized it's not just dependent on our processor clock speed if, pro if our processor is very fast it's gonna execute the code very fast if it's very slow um, it's gonna lag a lot and it can mess up our logic to make sure our logic is consistent we use um, delta time basically we multiply by it and now you can see all our if conditions are complete we can run the code and move the character around now it moves very slowly um, we can tweak the variable it's a good thing that we moved it um, into a variable the the speed value now we can just simply change it in one direction you can make it even faster if you want to now i notice that with this um conditions that we wrote player does not move diagonally like if we press two buttons at the same time it's not gonna move diagonally 
so to make sure it moves diagonally as well I'm just gonna convert all of these into simple if conditions instead of else if conditions now if we press two keys multiple keys it's gonna work diagonally as well so there you go um that's it for this video if you like it hit subscribe take care love is